Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a Xyler 206. This piano was made in 1986, and it measures 6 foot 9 inches from the very front to the very back. Now, some of you might not know what a Xyler is, and to be completely frank, I didn't either about 15 years ago. Xyler is one of the oldest, I think it actually is the oldest, but don't hold me to that, uh, German piano manufacturer ever out there right now. They still make pianos. We were actually a dealer for Xyler before the pandemic, and then we stopped carrying new pianos. So, uh, we, But we love these pianos, and now there's Xylers that are made in Indonesia. Samic owns the name, and they make these pianos in Indonesia. They're nothing like these. These are handmade in Germany, dramatically different pianos. Um, and I can say that because I was a dealer for them, and we had the German ones. They're still making them in Germany, too. But they do make the most of the budget line is all done in Indonesia. Um, in Asia. But this particular one uh, came in and it's in really, really good shape. I would rate this finish, we buffed it all out, by the way, and I would rate this finish probably like a B plus. There's some very, very fine um, damages. There's a, a damage repair right here. It's about the size of a quarter. It's completely black. You can't see it unless you put a flashlight on it and look for it. And then there's a couple little places where you see like a little you know, chip or something that's colored in, but it, you kind of have to go looking for it. This is a very, very clean piano. Um, there's also a separation in the soundboard over by the bass bridge. Totally filled, totally fine, no issues there either. We still have plenty of crown in the board. One interesting thing about Xyler is they are very, 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 very smooth and pure and clean. So if you played like a Schimmel, Schimmels typically like come at you. They're a little bit more bright. We always refer to Schimmels as like the European Yamaha because they typically have that kind of lighter feel. They're very smooth and velvety and they're nowhere near as bright as some of the Japanese pianos. But of the German pianos, a lot of times we refer to the Schimmels as those. Whereas Xyler is supposed to be like smooth like butter. They're very, very smooth pianos and very responsive. All Renner action. This one is in phenomenal shape. I actually sold one of these to Robin Williams' brother-in-law. I don't know, maybe like three or four years ago. And it was a really cool experience because, no joke, right after that, like two months later, we got another like almost identical Xyler and his freaking neighbor bought it. I mean, they're like two houses down from each other. And then our old tuner, Jules, lived there, and he serviced both of these pianos. So it was kind of this weird thing, and I just love Xylers. Another interesting fact, Xylers have beveled soundboards. So the soundboard, if you look at this thing in the, in the pictures, you'll see there's kind of like a rim carved into it, and it's thinner on certain parts of it to basically just make it more powerful and more um, rich and full. All these brands do different ways to do this, and that's how Xyler does it. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.